lives are constantly denied in our humanitarian communities. I talked about these issues with the ministers, and together we are seeking to find ways to find solutions. In Iraq, people are faced with a rapidly unraveling humanitarian crisis, which has already caused one of the largest internal population displacements in the world. Attacks, systemic persecution, and grave human rights abuses against civilians by the so-called Islamic State and other armed groups are outrageous. UN agencies and partners are supporting national, regional and local government authorities in their aid efforts. In Gaza, 1,975 Palestinians, including 1,407 civilians and 67 Israelis were killed during the conflict. An estimated 10,000 people have been injured including 3,000 children and 3,000 women. Damage to hospitals, schools, and UN works and relief agency shelters where people displaced sought refuge will take months to rebuild. The United Nations response continues, including with the delivery of food, water, and household goods. Medicines and fuel are being delivered to hospitals. We will continue to help the people of Syria, Iraq, and Gaza. Other colleagues in the United Nations are engaged in working to find lasting political solutions. My job, and that of our humanitarian partners, is to be as effective as possible in our aid delivery and ensure that we can reach as many people as possible more quickly. Iran has a very important role to play in helping us to gain better access for humanitarian organisations in Syria and elsewhere. I look forward to working more closely with our Iranian partners to further improve the international humanitarian system and to respond to crises now and in the future. I'm very happy to take some questions.